big fish on. Oh! 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 Big fish! Oh! Whoa! What is up fellas? Humble fishing back at it again with another video. Back out here, we're trying to get on some link cod, cabazon, kelp greenling, rockfish, whatever we can, and we're gonna get back to the shore and do a catch and cook. So stay tuned. I'm very determined to catch a couple fish and get back to the shore. Cool. So for today's first technique, we're gonna be using this diamond jig. And this is a three ounce all metal jig right here with the treble hook. And this is basically imitating one of these and you can see striking similarities right there and you got to remember that all fish eat bait fish so you can catch basically anything on this little piece of metal right here so I'm gonna drop this down and see what I can pull up so I'm gonna wait for it to hit the bottom and when my line goes slack there we go it's on the bottom and I want to take a couple reels up so it's not getting snagged in those rocks and I'm just gonna jig it and give it some life and hopefully anything that is directly below that will see this jig and eat it so let's see how this goes so after you dropped it down two or three times in one spot it's probably time to move on if you didn't get a bite so I'm gonna reel this thing up I'm gonna stow the hook so we're at the second spot here and I got my diamond jig, just going to drop her down. It's a little bit deeper here. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean bigger fish or anything, but there, there could be some bigger fish. So I'm just going to, it's on the bottom, a couple reels up and just start jigging it. Simple as that. So this iron right here didn't really produce, so I'm gonna switch it up. So right here, I got the herring rig, two hooks, two feet of 25 pound test, and a two ounce banana weight. So this is what we do. We drop this straight down. Once you feel it hit the bottom, you reel two times. And so you're right above that bottom. And if there's a link cod down there, he's gonna look up and hopefully eat this. So you let the current take you and you just drift along. Let's get it down. Drop it straight down there. Waiting for my line to hit the bottom. And we're on the bottom. So on the bottom, a couple cranks up. And now I just hold the rod and I'm waiting for any suspicious movement of the tip of my rod. Because sometimes it can be kind of hard to tell if there's a fish on there. We're drifting along and it's looking good. Fish on, nice fish, nice one. Let's go, I was just drifting that herring and he ate it. Wonder what he is. Oh, he's a, a copper it looks like. That's cool, awesome. Boom, look at that. There we go. That's a nice little, it's a cool rock fish. It's a copper. Get him back. Fish on, on the swim bait. Fish on. It's a nice fish. Woo. I was just jigging this swim bait along. Oh, he's a cabazon. It's a cabazon. I can see him down there. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. He just annihilated that white swim bait. There you go. Swim bait's out. And there's that cabazon. You can hear it. He's making a little noise. And 
that's his the back of his mouth they use these little plates to crush up crabs and shells and stuff uh, when they eat it so really cool little fish right here I'm gonna get him back in the water right now I just hooked a monster fish on the white swim bait he took a big run at the start there this has a lot of weight to it oh my gosh big fish Ah, he took me straight into the rocks, man. Oh, he's coming. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, he's coming. He's coming. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. About to land this thing. Getting them up here. Come on, man. Oh, shit. Big ass cabby, baby. Let's go. Oh, my Let's God. Let's go. That is a monster. That is a, look at that cabazon. Look at that thing. Oh my, get a picture, bro. Boom, came right out of there. Look at this cabazon, guys. That is a monster. That is such a monster. We eating good tonight, baby. Definitely my personal best cabazon. Look at that thing. This thing was fighting so hard. He took me in the rocks. I'm gonna head back to shore and cook this guy up. Oh yeah, stoked. So I'm headed back. All right. Caught this monster cabazon. He's bleeding out right now. I'm not far from shore, so I'm not really worried about sharks smelling that blood. So I'm gonna park it on the beach, get all my cooking stuff set up, and we're gonna make some fish tacos. And it's gonna be really good. So I'm coming into shore right now. Uh, there's a little shore break happening, but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get onto the sand right behind this big rock. Man, so that really sucked. Um, although I did lose the cabazon, I found my whole box of lures, so that is great. Hopefully it goes well from here. I'm gonna launch again. I'm gonna meet up with my buddy and we're gonna go straight back to that spot. Hopefully I can crank up another beast and bring him back here and we can feast. Awesome. tail sure nice fish Woo. on the bigger rod here we go he's coming up fast it's a nice black Woo. stud black like whoa <laughs> stud black right there Ugh. Look at that thing. Boom. Hell yeah. Keeper. Nice black. Look at that. Black rockfish. These are one of the most abundant fish out here. Awesome. This one's probably about four pounds. Boom. Yeah. I'm just gonna stick this through his lip. And he's on there. Because I learned my lesson last time. I'm never not going to lock my fish into my kayak anymore. We're not losing this guy. Oh yeah. Big fish on. Oh! 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 
big fish. Oh. Whoa. Don't come off. Don't come off. Dude. Big fish. Whoa, he's taking runs. Damn. Damn. Okay. Okay, I got the net. He's coming up. I didn't even think that was a fish. He's a monster. Oh my god, he's huge. Watch my rod, watch my rod. Let's go! Let's go! Monster Link! Monster Link! Let's go! I just caught this Monster Link. Look at this thing. Oh. Yo! Yo, that is a monster! Look how big that thing is! That's amazing! Dude. What? Yo. Yo. <laughs> wow. Dude. Dude. <laughs> I'm bleeding. But it's worth it. It's so worth it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that fish, man. He hit the herring with that banana weight. I was just drifting it along. I wasn't even sure if it was a fish. I thought it was the bottom. But it started coming up and head shaking. Man, this is such an awesome fish. God damn, this is crazy. Um, we're gonna measure this thing and we're gonna bonk him and bleed him and get back to shore and cook him up. So, I just caught my ling for the day and I'm heading back to shore to cook that thing. And you know this time I'm not gonna be doing any sketchy landing. I'm gonna find a spot with absolutely no waves and I'm gonna land the boat without flipping it this time. So, let's see how this goes. Come in the shore. Looks like there's not too many waves this time. <laughs> there's a bunch of bait fish right here. Go. We made it to land. We got both the fish, we got all our gear, and I'm hungry. So let's get over there, fillet this fish up, get the tacos going, and feast. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys how big this fish is. 34 inch link cod. That's what it looks like. Pretty damn heavy actually. It's a lot of meat on this thing. So cook it. I got my Humboldt fishing knife. I'm gonna puncture that. Cut all the way up into there. There we go. So here's all the guts in there. Throw it back in the ocean for something to eat. Some crabs. And here's this little bloodline. I'm just gonna scrape this out. So as you can see that cavity is pretty much clean. So, first cut right here. Cut right behind there, all the way up there. Now that we have this cut, the next cut is gonna go along the spine. So, gonna break the skin, just barely. Go. There we go. This thing's gonna be feeding my family for like a whole week. So. Phew. There we go. Get this nice chunk of link on. We got some blackened seasoning. And I added some brown sugar. Uh, 
pepper and garlic powder to this so it's a mix of a bunch of different seasonings but it's gonna be good so and just sprinkle that all over that fish that's probably good for one side flip it over get the other side and there we go it's a very nice chunk of meat right there so what I'm gonna do is cut down the middle of it there we go now I'm gonna cut these again And now, these are ready to go in some tacos. There we go. So, we're gonna be making a little tropical coleslaw kind of thing. And so right here, we have a jicama. For you viewers that don't know what a jicama is, it's a vegetable, I'm pretty sure. It's crunchy and fresh. And so it's a really good thing to put in one of these fresh tropical salads. I'm also gonna be cutting mango into thin strips to go in there as well. Some jalapeno some red cabbage, and some cilantro. So, let's do it. That butter is just working wonders with that fish and that black and Cajun seasoning. It just looks so good. So we're gonna flip these guys in like a minute and then fry up some tortillas, get them nice and crispy and make our tacos. Oh yeah. Cut it. Here we go. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Woo! Look at that. Enjoying an amazing meal right where I caught it. Oh yeah. That is so epic. Woo! Gonna put a couple in there at a time. And these are gonna get nice and crispy. And we're gonna put some sour cream. We're gonna put some cilantro and the fish right on top of there. These tortillas, nice and crispy. Just set them on there. Oh yeah. That's three tortillas. Now we got our fish, blackened, and wonderful stuff. Put on there. And the final piece of fish, right there. And there we have it. That beautiful fish taco. Absolutely, totally fresh. Just caught the beautiful coleslaw and fish taco right there. That looks so good. So here we have this beautiful dish. Three fish tacos with lingcod and a jicama, cabbage, mango, jalapeno, fresh coleslaw. So, let's eat this. I am hungry. One of these tacos right here looks amazing. Beautiful flaky piece of lingcod. Here we go. Mmm. Oh. Woo. Look at that. 
Mm. That's fire, dude. That's that is so good. Here's some of this, some of that coleslaw right there. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That coleslaw is sweet from the mango, spicy from the jalapeno, crunchy from the jicama, um, acidic from the apple cider vinegar, and it's an absolutely great thing to have on the side of these tacos right here. So, another taco. Look at that. That meat is so flaky. Put some of that coleslaw on top of that taco. Piece of mango, piece of jalapeno. Let's eat it. Mmm. The tortilla is nice and crispy too, but not too crispy so I can still fold it. Look at that. The final bite of taco. Oh. The final piece of taco right there. Beautiful. Woo. I ate two of those tacos and I'm pretty full. So this one's for the cameraman. Uh, and wow that was amazing that was so good so there you have it link cod catch clean and cook wow that was fun so thank you guys so much for watching it was a complete blast to make this video i got a very nice link cod cooked it up made some tacos and it was delicious so remember to like comment share and subscribe for more videos but until then thank you for tuning in to humble fishing peace out